we're going to do a bit of gameplay here for the Dwarf King's Hold. Now, Jake Thornton here, the creator of Dwarf King's Hold, has kindly said that I can explain to you exactly how to play this game. Can I? Let's see. The basis of the game revolves around movement and combat. So, you get to move during your turn, you get to act during your turn, whenever you get an action. Dwarves can move six, skeletons can move four squares. Yes, the only game where dwarves get to move quicker <laughs> than the other opponents. The world, yeah. Only one in the world. Uh, you can move diagonals, but you can't move into a diagonal if it's uh, threatened by one of these other guys. Um, everything has a facing. Facings are the front three squares and the two squares on either side of the direction that you're facing. The rest is all behind you. Getting hit in the back, not good. Okay. After that then we have fighting. What we do with fighting is if we have two guys, in this case our dwarf and our skeleton, uh, facing off against each other in their front arcs, dwarves get to roll four dice and skeletons get to roll two dice. So I roll that and we roll a uh, three and a two compared to my six and five and two and one. The three goes against the highest dice, the two against that, so that beats three, five, beats a two. There are no other dice, so they count as a one. Mystery ghost dice. So one matches that, two beats one. In order for it to do damage, my rolls have to also beat the armor of the thing that I've attacked. Skeletons have two armor, am I right? Correct. We're getting there. So six is better than three, so it wins. It's also better than two for the armor, so that's one point of damage to him. Normally, skeletons don't take any damage if they only take one That's point. right, yep. However... You know the first one. I've done two. So, five beats the two, and five also beats the two armour of the skeleton. Two, of course, beats one, but it doesn't beat the armour skeleton, so that's discounted. So the skeleton's taken two points of damage, which means, if I, if I remember rightly, he's been turned into one of our fabulous piles of bones. Absolutely. Crunch. Pile of bones. Now, of course, skeletons being skeletons, a bit of magical necromatic jiggery pokery, and you can get back up again. Absolutely. Yep. Spend an action, get them back up again. Dwarves, unlike skeletons, whenever they get injured, if we imagine that these two dice then were the six and the five, and I got the two and three, the skeleton would have beaten my armor, or sorry, beaten my attack roll and beaten my armor, because dwarves have better armor than skeletons, they've got three. So that does one damage to me, five beats a two, and five also beats a three, two points of damage. Dead, dead dwarf. Dead dwarf. Dwarves can only take one point of damage. If I'd only taken one, say for example, that was uh, three, or sorry, four, bad. So yeah, three, and this was a two. Still would have beaten me, but it wouldn't beat my armor, so I only take one point of damage. Then he gets a lovely little blood splatter for him to stand on, meaning that he's injured. And when you're injured, you lose one of your dice whenever you fight. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. If more than one guy attacks me, say these two skeletons decide to gang up on my poor little dwarf, I also lose one dice. If I get attacked from the back, I also lose one dice. If all these things happen at once, I'm in a terrible position. I can lose, I'm going to lose three dice because of being hit from the back, being ganged up on, and being injured. That's going to take me down to less than two dice. You can't roll less than two dice. It means my armor is reduced. So my armor goes down to two. I'm exactly the same as a skeleton at that point. Pretty poo. <laughs> so, so basically, then that, that's combat. Um, that's combat. That's, that's how it works. It's just a matter of taking off dice and uh, getting as many guys to pile on dwarves as possible. Um, the only other thing we have to then talk about is just the little special rules that come with each of the, the races. So in the case of the dwarves, dwarves can use their mighty girth, and as we know, that's what it's all about, to shove things out of the way. So instead of making an attack, my dwarf can move in, hit the skeleton, don't need to roll my four dice because I'm only going to do a shield bash, shove him out of the way, and push him to one of these three squares. However, if he's up against the wall, I have nowhere to push him, so he can't be pushed. That's the dwarf's little special attack. The only other thing then is, like we said, skeletons can get up. After their bones, you can spend a little action 
and get them to stand up. Okay, guys? Did you get all that? Was that fast enough for you? Remember, you can pause and rewind. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're just going to fire away and have a go at the scenario. Let's, let's just play let's the game. Get stuck in. This is the, uh, the initial... Uh, yeah, it's the first scenario. First scenario. So this is just oh. for, for demoing and for, for playing and having fun because this is one we've been playing all day and it's been great fun. I have yet to win and I'm sure that this time I'm going to get creamed yet again. So, do you want to run us through what the scenario is then? Uh, uh, yes, Jake? the it's um, the dwarves. The this area of the dwarf dwarf's hold has been overrun by the undead, and all six of them. All six of them, and they're they're friends who are lying down for the moment, and somewhere in this in in this in this area is the tomb of one of the ancestors of the dwarves. And this this area here, this is a tomb that the dwarves have got to get to so that they can recover the heirloom and return it to their family. So they've got to go through all of this, get past the skeletons and get there to check through the tomb, take the, take the heirloom. Nice and simple. Yeah, because I have four dice that I used to fight with, so that should yeah, be really easy. Yeah, you've got twice yeah. as many dice as me. Yeah. <laughs> should be absolute doddle. Um, then actions, of course. Um, Absolutely, yeah. actions. Dwarves get four actions. Skeletons get three actions. As we, actions by the way are counters, so they're on them, it, it prints how many uh, guys you get to activate um, each time you flip one over. Uh, you get to know what's on your cards whenever you have a look at them. So Jake knows what's on his, I know what's on mine, um, but we don't obviously show each other. Uh, sometimes they have multiples on it so we can move more guys at once. Um, each guy can only move once and then we go to the end of the turn when you can do some of your special stuff. The dwarves have... Yes, the, the dwarves have the special ability to do... The, the dwarves have a different set of action cards, action tokens from the undead. They have follow-on actions, which means instead of just being able to move once, they can do extra follow-on actions with individual models. The undead don't do that, but then there tend to be more of them, and the tokens are, are usually higher numbers, so they can use, move more than one skeleton with each token. Uh, however, the skeletons also get... The necromancer also gets uh, what are called Baleful Gaze, which is the necromancer who is controlling his minions from afar, can focus his attention in on one, of, one or other of them and get them to do one of four things. Uh, and this is a sort of one-off, once-per scenario feature. Uh, and you'll see that at some point. We'll, we'll yeah, talk through we'll, what we'll, talk what we'll do that, that later. Once we, once we get to that point, that's probably the point that I'll be dead. So, okay. <laughs> I'm well, dead already. <laughs> you're dead already. Yep, there we go. Well, yeah, yeah. We're halfway there. So... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just play off and uh, let's, let's see how it goes. Yep. Dwarves always go first. Dwarves always die. Because oh, dwarves, as we know, are faster than everybody else in this game. Absolutely. Famous so, sprinters. Famous sprinters. So the first thing I'm going to do, well, uh, I have a two, two action. there. So yep. that's the most actions that I can take. So I want to move this guy, I think, six, one, well, not six, two, four. Get him to stand on top of those bones. Once I'm standing on top of the bones, I can't resurrect I, them. can't resurrect them. So this is the opening gambit we've been using all morning, and it has yet to work, but I'm determined. <laughs> so <laughs> the second guy I'm going to move, and but he's going to go and do the same thing. They're patient. Bones are very patient. patient They'll wait till you go somewhere else. That's it. And next up, then, I shall use one. So I've got one there, and I move my last dwarf. He will scoot up to here. So that hopefully, if he tries to come get me, I can gang up on him and get the extra bonus. So, I always get four in my hand. That's the end of my turn. I yep. don't want to play any follow-on actions if I happen to have them in my hand. Yeah. Um, so I get to, to draw another couple of cards, or tokens, to get me up to four again. Okay. Four, by the way, this is, each of the scenarios has a different limit for the tokens in each hand and a different number of Baleful Gaze for the undead, as well as a different map and a different number of miniatures on both sides. So there's quite a lot of variation. Yeah. And of course, each side plays differently. So with six scenarios, two sides, you get at least 12 games before you have to even repeat yourself with the setup. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of flexibility in here, quite a lot of replay. Um, That's it. As well as which, of course, I mean, this isn't the only map you can use. You can also make another small map yourself. Oh, yes, absolutely. Try it out, you know, uh, even uh, just a matter of shifting around some of the mm. uh, some of the tiles and things, just to make it a bit more more interesting if you've played it a few times. But come on, let's right. let's, let's, let's see kill what's happening. Then. Let's kill you. Let's see what, what I will do. Right, I, I've got four action. You see oh. that? A four action. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll bring up what one, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. To make that a bit more awkward, and mm -hmm. then we shall move him up there. And we shall move him up there. And then uh, as the undead player only gets one token at the end of each turn instead of refilling his hand. So I'm going to stop there because I'll get one more token back and then I'll be back to three. Okay, so... so that's the end of my go. That's the end of that go. Um, right. I'm going to play another two. And activate our friend here. Moving him up. And I go to attack the skeleton. Unfortunately, the skeleton's already ganging up on me. So I have to lose one of my dice and go down to three. And that's a rubbish roll. So uh, we've got five. Beats my four. One and one, one and one. So night happens. Worth, worth mentioning here that in, when you attack, only the acting model is attacking. Even if I roll double six and you roll triple one, you wouldn't take any damage. That's it. Unlike some of the other ones, it's not mutual combat. No, nope, no. Nope. We we're discussing. This is, yep. Okay, so. I that was your move, first action. That was my first action. I have another guy, and I'm going to move him up. Show us your action then. Oh, no, I can put two out. Oh, right. So, yeah, 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 see, yeah, see. Cheat me already. <laughs> 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 I'm going to move here, and this time. I'm evil. I'm, yeah, I'm supposed I'm to gonna, be evil. I'm going to turn my facing this direction. Okay. So that my front facing is this way, and nobody can get me from behind, Hope except this guy, if he rises. Uh, but that's going to happen anyway, regardless. <laughs> um, so we shall... Ah, I know what I'll do. So you've moved. I've moved. Um, so you can fight now. So I can fight the same now. Action. And we have the same amount of guys on each other, yep. so that it's four and four and two then. Yep, so it splits. This, this, because they're all in a lump, this yep. splits down into two one-on-one -on -one fights. So actually, he's moved this guy, so he's now fighting this, this skeleton. Breaks down very straightforwardly. Yeah. So you've now got, you're not, not okay. outnumbered, so you get four yeah. dice, yeah. Oh, and once again, I've got a, another rubbish roll. Oh, well, that's no, really no, not, not too bad. Oh, 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 yeah. Highest dice matches highest dice, highest next dice. highest matches next dice, and so on. Okay, so basically, they're, they're all awash because they don't beat the, uh, the armor of the skeletons. However, I've got one hit which doesn't affect a skeleton. Skeletons are lots of bones. Skeletons, lots of bones, lots of gaps, lots of straight bits missing. The, straight through the hole. No squishy bits to damage. <laughs> They're not bothered okay. by that. Okay, then. So that was a, a rubbish one. Um, I'm going to go for one more, I think. And I shall use another one action. This time to bring this guy to here. Uh, Yeah, I'm in trouble, but as you know, that's why I lose these games. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, my go? Yep. I'm going to play another four. <laughs> <laughs> of which, what, there's about two in the whole No, there's, <laughs> the whole there's uh, well, maybe slightly more than two, but oh, not. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to start off by hitting this guy here. Okay, and uh, so that's, that's I've got two attacks yeah. and you've got four defense. And that's two oh, double yeah. one. Uh, that's loot. not really good enough. Uh, good so we'll have another go with the other guy. Okay. So this guy against him. Sure. That's better than I rolled. Ooh. But my best dice against your best dice. My next best dice against your next one. I haven't beaten him, and I haven't beaten him. So I do nothing. Yeah, Skeletons old. are individually rubbish and work best when they gang up. Uh, but if he's in this scenario. Because I'm only trying to stop him getting there, I, I don't mind if I don't do anything, as long as he's not going forward. Yeah. Uh, again, one of, one of the, the points we forgot to mention is that once I run out of these, to of these uh, tokens, I'm afraid that's my game over. So, okay. Right. Uh, that was only two actions. Yes, it was out of your four. So I think what we will do is we shall spend my third action raising up a skeleton here. And because he is behind you, yep. you can't hit him and while he does that. He's also ganging up on me as well, isn't he? And he will be hanging up. And I should have done that earlier, really. But okay. that's, a, that's the action of that skeleton. That's all he can do in one turn. Rising up, putting yourself together from, uh, from a pile of bones is quite, mm -hmm. quite enough effort for one skeleton for one day. <laughs> 
and my fourth action, I'm going to start bringing up these guys from the back because they're going to need to be somewhere other than where they are to start with it. Yep. And, and that's it. That's fine. I'll only get one token back at the end, so I'm going to stick with that. Okay. Right. Time for me to try and get a bit more aggressive here. Um, however, being aggressive without having any cards is very difficult. So, um, first thing I have to do is one action then. And with my one action, I shall attack this bloke into here. And do, 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 will I? No, I won't. You're outnumbered because of the yes, guy behind yes, you as well. Yeah. <sighs> Start with the other guy? Start with the other guy. Yes, this guy here will try and destroy. Oh, this dude, yes, this dude here. Oh, tactical decisions, the things I have no use at. Oh, right, well, maybe not. Oh, no, no. Right, six to five, and three to three. So six beats five, so it's one. One damage? And none, because nothing so else. Skeletons ignore the first damage. So yeah, and two's not good enough to beat the armor. Two's not good enough to beat the armor, yep. Okay, so next up then is... Uh, Another one. Remember, you have the dwarf special combat ability. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. <laughs> We're going to have to do. We're going to have to do our shield bash, which will. He's just beaten. Yes, this one here, isn't it? Yep. So, we shall bash maybe this one. I think mm -hmm. over to here. Yep. Don't need to roll the attack. Just does that automatically. And next up, we shall. Use a follow-up action. Shield bash this guy with the same dude. Yep. To there. And with my last follow-up action, which is these little things, I'm going to uh, <laughs> cry. Mm, I can I can actually make well, him make him activate, can't I? You can, but follow-up actions are either a move or a fight. Or whereas a, fight, a normal so, action yeah. is a move and a fight. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna have to shimmy around. Oh to do. While he's thinking, well, while I'm, the, while I'm one thinking, of, which, well, one uh, of the things I tried to do in this is have. I mean, what every what every designer says is is you have try and have a simple game that involves lots of tactical depth, and I think you can see from uh, from the decisions that we're trying having to do yeah. here that, it, that there's a bit of thinking going on in the in the sort of wrinkles yeah. in yeah. in here, even though the rules themselves are quite straightforward. That's it. Um, decided. You don't, decided you don't? No, no, I'm, I've decided to keep him where he is, and instead use my follow up action on the other guy. Yeah. And move him to here. Okay. Um, to pin those guys. So you just push and them back guys, and then you pin them, them where you go. Pin them so that they can't come back and, yep. and, and gang up on me again and then hopefully get some of these Which other guys. Which now leaves moved. that guy a space we can come around there. Yep. If it wasn't my go. If it wasn't your go. <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. So, right. And I've used up all my actions. So, so I'm going to so spend a take four. three. And I think we'll start with. This chap here, who's fighting him, and he's outnumbered. Yep. So I've got my two dice as usual, and you're down to three. Yep. I'll let you roll them, though. Oh, no, sir. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm tactically thinking about how best to lose. Oh, right. Well, so well, not, four not against bad, four is nothing. One is not enough, enough to beat the dwarf's armor, so that's okay. nothing. My second action, I'll fight with the other guy who's outnumbering him. Okay. Same dice again. That's more like it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely more like it. That's two wounds against the, the dwarf. That's two course, wounds. Six beats to five. Six beats five. Three five beats to five. Yeah, five both beats to three. Both beat my armor. Yep. So the dwarf that's goes. dead dwarf. Eek. Oh, dear. Squitted. Okay. Uh, and I have one action left. And I'm going to bring him up. Yes, I think I'll do that. I think they're, they're doing a nice job of holding you off there on their own. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave them to it. I'll just make several choke points, slow you down. Because I need to burn through, oh, burn through Andy's ta tokens yeah, here. Of which I don't have many left. I think I've maybe got about two rounds worth left. Um, okay. Depending if, if I keep going through all of them. You all um, go. 
Well, okay. Um, one of these is a one. There's a one, and let's see. So I really need to start holding positions here, so I'm gonna have to, I think, move forward to this bit mm -hmm. and fight this one, so that I can hopefully kill one of these. Mm, with a roll like that, it's not gonna happen. Uh, no. So six doesn't doesn't damage six. Three beats the two and beats the armor, but it's the only one he he beats the armor on. So he does one damage, which the skeletons ignore. Yep. Okay. That's your first action. That's my first action. And next, I shall. Do I have another one? No. I'm gonna have to use follow up actions now. That's fine. So another follow up action then. To Stand do on. He can't, he can't fight him because he's behind him. Yeah. So he'll have and the follow-up action is a move or a fight, or and a the fight. move will so, be the turn. Exactly. So we're going to have to hit him again, I think. See if we can take some of these skeletons out. Uh, that's another Maybe rubbish roll rolling, for me. Rolling better dice would help. Yeah, it would. It would. So that's another <laughs> none. And, you know, I might as well just go for it and burn um. another one. Uh, oh, that's no, a bit better. I'm afraid I got a bit better oh, as well. Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> You've got twice as many dice as me. What can I say? What can I no say? luck whatsoever. And none. Oh, none. Oh, I've got one more. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh I think oh, you might help oh, me there. Yay! Okay, so that beats those two yep. and beats the armor roll as well. So we've turned them into a pile of bones. Yep. Hurrah. Okay, but that's all. Gone. Right. Am I going? You're on date, yeah. Am I going indeed? I think we shall play a three again. Okay. And I think we shall raise this one up. Yeah. Oh. Because that you, you've left him alone, so I think we'll leave him where he is. Uh, raise him up. And I'll try raising this one up as well. Now, okay. Oops. Now, because, go on. Yeah, I was going to say, that means that I get to, to bash the skeleton before it, uh, it tries to get up. Yeah, because I'm raising him up when he's adjacent to a... He's standing in front of a dwarf when he's trying to do it. Dwarf gets to try, go to try and batter down the bones as they try and pick themselves up and reassemble themselves. Yeah. So, but as you see, my luck means that uh, he'll be fine. <laughs> yep, Absolutely much. fine, doesn't care, Absolutely no problem. Fine. So I don't get to fight, Brilliant. even though I'm adjacent. It's just one by when I'm raising up, that's my whole action. Okay. Uh, so that was two. And I think we'll move him in. One, two, go there. So he gets a fight against him, and he counters that numbering. Okay. So that's three dice for you. Six and maybe, four and a one. Maybe. No, 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 just the no, one. Nothing. Ah, oh, just the one again. And of course, no, no, no. It's me fighting you. Oh, it's so of course it is. You don't get to hit me all the time. I know, but I, 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 never, I never get to hit anybody, even when I do get to hit anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm okay. I'll just save my, save my clever tricks save for later. Clever tricks yep. later on. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go with another one point and. Attack the skeletons. Which one? The one in front of you? One in front of me, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not working very well. No luck at all. Of course, if I had been smart, what I could have done was shield bash that other one out of the way, which is I was stupid enough not to do. Okay, let's try that again. We've got a. I think I've got a. Oh, yeah, I have to activate another. Use another action. By using another action, I can hopefully swivel. Oh no, actually, I'll tell you what you I'll can, do. You can turn him around I'm, and bash the one behind him, or you can, yeah. or you can move forward. Yeah, but try then you'd be try breaking off, so they would get a free swipe. They would get to hit. Yeah, no, I'll take a, I'll take a bash at this guy. Why not? Okay. Let's see if we can't do, kill somebody. Oh, oh, oh you can't oh, kill oh, him with oh, triple six. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. So explosion. Finally, a skeleton dies. Takes Again. three. Takes three damage. <laughs> utterly destroyed. Can't get it back from that. That's it. Um, 
That helps. Ooh, it helps a bit. Yep, it helps a bit. Um, I shall then. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um. See, it kind of depends on what what yeah. and he's got in his hand exactly. as to what um, you can what types of options are available. Basically, I don't have to. enough follow up actions left to do anything else other than I've got one follow up action, um, which I will use to move. I think and shift him in here and point that direction. Hopefully okay. so that nobody can shimmy around behind me. Okay. Okay. I think we shall play a four. This is one thing you find the undead have a lot higher yeah. tokens than the, uh, than the dwarves, but they have a lot more models and they're all slower. Apart from the dog, which Alessio thinks is a rat, I think it's a dog. <laughs> Um, right, four actions. Uh, we'll start with this one fighting him. Okay. Uh, set it equal. That's a bit rubbish. Oh, neither, of those is, neither of those is more than your armor, so that's right. not going to do anything. And then we'll act with him. One, two, three. And he comes up behind him. Yeah. So he is, he's fight, this one's fighting him. He's outnumbered and he's attacked from behind, so that's two dice less. So he's as bad as I am. Uh, but he rolls better dice than I do, Slightly so better. he gets away with it. <laughs> now, he fights my third action. He fights him from the front. And so he loses one, action, one dice because he's outnumbered, but I'm not behind him, so he doesn't lose that second dice for being attacked from behind. Yep. So you get three dice, which you may oh, roll. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking ahead now. I'm oh, thinking oh, ahead. oh, right. Six against six, bounces off. Yep. Five against three. Means I wound him. Oh, so, so he gets hurt. Give, Which one was this one? The, it's this one here. Ah, right. He starts leaking. He starts leaking the claret. That's unfortunately that's the last of the chaps around there. But I could bring him one, two, three there, and he can join in that merry band. So you're now even more outnumbered. But I'm still from the front, so you'd have four dice to start with. Less one dice for being outnumbered, less another dice for being injured. So he's still rolling two dice. And that's nothing at Yay. all. Even, even this badly outnumbered. Yeah. The dwarves are individually much, much tougher than the, the scouts. Yeah. Right, OK. Let's see if I can't do something about this now. And yeah, one action. I shall shield bash this guy. Here. Shield bash. Shield bash. That guy out of the way. Yeah. Um, oh, with my other action, I have. I shall shield bash this guy. Uh, oh, this one out of the way. This, with this guy. Yeah. And then I've got a follow up. Yeah. That I will use on this guy to yeah. attack this one. Okay. Still outnumbered. Or well, it's, no, you're it's not equal, because he, yeah. he's, he can fight him. Yeah. He's at four. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness, man. <sighs> okay, so That's that does nothing. Terrible. I'm with my own. I thought the last one was a follow up action, but it's not. So I'll have a look. Oh, and I've got one card left. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be timed out. Right. That's fine, because um, I'll just chop you up a bit, I think, where yeah. we are. Three, three action again. Where we are here, because I can, from behind, you get oh. three dice. Oh, three no, dice. You don't, you're injured, you get no, two dice. Injured two dice, so... Let's see if I can... No, uh, I'm not beating your armour. Nope. No. And he'll come back and fight the same chap. Okay, two dice again. Oh, and I've got him. Oh. Six. Six. That's enough. So that's, can only, he's already can't, wounded. Can't so he takes another wounds. wound. So, so that's him gone. And pick the counters up. Yeah, well, let's get that again. Slid down the road. Okay, and so we're one. So that last chap's looking in lots of trouble. Door left. So we'll go back from the shield bash. We'll go back and hit him again. And you're very outnumbered, but you're not injured. And I'm not yeah. attacking from behind. So. so you're Ooh, fine. Fine. You're fine. Yes. Very tough to watch. 
But I don't think you're going to be making it to the end. No, I don't think so. Nope. I don't think I could quite make it. There you go, guys. My last, of course, was a, a one action. So I could have moved and, and attacked. But there you go. As you can see, I am tactically incompetent. So uh, I didn't get past... I'm very unlucky. I'm very unlucky. I didn't get past the second the second tile. But it's a great little simple little game. Easy to get hold of. Easy to pick up. Um, we've been through almost the entirety of the rules there. The base rules that you need to play and to, and to fight um, with the first starting scenario. Mm. And we've, so, so I was going to say, yeah. sorry to interrupt, we, we've played this several times already this morning and we've won both, with both sides. Yes, that's So, right. I mean, this is, right. although this looks like you never got anywhere, it's actually partly down to your rubbish dice rolls. Part, partly rubbish dice fix. rolls, yeah, that's true. Uh, and, part, and partly because I'm now starting to get, the, really, we need to be much more aggressive with these dwarves and move them, move them a lot more. We keep, everybody's done it so far that's come in to play, to play it for the first time is going, what? Those guys stand up, right? stand on top of them, quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. I don't think it's, it's that, as much, that important, so I'll maybe try it again later on with a, with a different tactic. Mm. So what do you think, guys? Did you enjoy that? Is this the sort of game that you, you think you could get uh, other people involved in uh, board gaming and uh, war gaming and generally just fiddling about with toy soldiers? Um, if this is the sort of thing that you like, drop us a comment below, tell us all about it, and tell Jake what a wonderful game he's made.